Thank you, Rethburn. <laughs> there we go. Alrighty. Um, first off on the Gents Pagoda, we have a left side double lumberjack and a Hades. On the right side, we have uh, Watcher and Heavy Carronade. On the Gilded Narwhal, we have a front Artemis, left side Artemis Hades, right side Gat Mortar. On the Millwall fans, we have, piloted by Skipper Von Zinkington, on the left side, it is a Gat Mortar, with the right side being a Triple Artemis, the Artemis combination. And number four, the Doohoohoo, I'm not sure I pronounced that to be completely honest, piloted by Gilder Unfettered, we have on the front Double Merc, on the side of Banshee and a Mine Launcher. Okay, everyone, it looks like we are going to be splitting off into two different streams. So the uh, Merry Frawls game will be played simultaneously with this one. I feel originally it was going to be a, sort of a, a single stream on two channels. But of course, after that, la that last game was very long. So maybe people were reconsidering that. We did go, anyway, we did so, quite long I, like that. so on the I'll Robin Nancho channel, guys, uh, we're going to have the Mandarins versus Merry Thrall starting here pretty shortly. All right, well, I'll say goodbye to you then, Mr. Lee Snater. It's been good to have you here. Uh, and if there is a community chat afterwards, I will see you then. All right, I'll see you there, mate. All righty. So anyone who wants to watch the Merry Frawls um, game uh, versus the Mandarins, please go to the Robin Dan Show's Twitch and uh, of course, well, you could always have both streams open at the same time. Hop back and forth, see which one uh, more interesting at the time. Uh, more views, the better, frankly. Okay, flares going out uh, towards the BFS. Do who who and Millwall fans are coming around the archway. All right, looks like BFS are holding behind these ribs. Oh, God, I hope they're not expecting the gents to charge them. Because then they'll be here a very long time. Especially a bad idea uh, to charge into a sniping position um, with a galleon, because it's got those big unwieldy guns, and it can take a while to turn. Okay. Oh, hello. Who do we have here? Lucky Vias. Lucky Vias. Nice to, uh, nice to have you on, mate. Lucky Vias, of course, part of Muse, one of the developers. Would you like to introduce yourself to the stream if you, if you want to? Sure thing. Um, so I'm uh, Matthew, go by Kivias, in-game pretty much all over the internet. Um, I'm the community manager for Guns of Icarus. I got invited to join in, so I thought I'd hop in, check it out. All right, cool stuff. You're going to be uh, casting with me uh, here today? Apparently. Uh, what's All the uh, right. password? The password? Well, that will be typed to you in chat. I'm not going to tell you it now, <laughs> for obvious reasons. I've made that mistake before. Here we have Zuka taunting Gilda here. Merc me, baby. Sort of a masochistic combat cry towards Gilda to charge with those double mercs. But it doesn't look like BFS are going to take the bait. Oh dear. Looks like the... Uh... Nope, nope, neither ship... Neither, neither team has spotted each other. Oh, wait, no, there we go. The Gents Pagoda has been spotted. Merc shot going down, but they are exploding short of their intended target. Just short of the Gents Pagoda here. I think that the Boo Hoo Hoo might be just barely getting in range in a moment. Oh, this talk about extreme range sniping doesn't get much more extreme range than this. There we go! Merc shots connecting with the Jets Pagoda! Doing barely any damage, but they're connecting. 
Now, the issue is, will they be able to hit consistently? Oh, the Millwall fans taking focus fire here from the Gilded Narwhal and the Gents Pagoda. But still, neither team has done substantial damage to each other yet. Oh, wait, the Gents Pagoda's got... Oh, they must be using incendiary or something because the, the, the hull's on fire. The balloon was on fire there for a minute. Gents Pagoda using Phoenix Claw to abruptly turn here. Maybe the Gents Pagoda's feeling that the pressure's just too much and he has to reposition. Guys, come closer. We exceed 2,000 meters, says Refburn. Alrighty. And... I'm just wondering here if I'm being heard on the stream as well. Stream seems a tad quiet when people are saying. I'm starting to feel like I'm talking to myself here. Can either of you guys hear me? Yep. Okay, fair enough. Um, oh, all right, there we go. Okay. Oh, Gents Pagoda. Armor's down on the Gents Pagoda. Oh, this is old school BFS chipping away at the Gents Pagoda with those mercs. Oh, they used to love to do this back in the day. Oh, lots of component damage on the Gents Pagoda. The Gents Pagoda's going down using Phoenix Claw to turn. The armor's down on the Gents Pagoda. Yes, very slowly doing damage to the Gents Pagoda here with those mercs. Almost as, as if Zuka was asking for this. Oh, more Merc shots hitting the Gents Pagoda. BFS chipping away on the Galleon, the Gents Pagoda. Oh, but now the Do Hoo Hoo taking a bit of fire too. Those Hades shots not hitting consistently, but they are tagging him. At that range, it just seems like any hit you can pull off is cause for celebration. Yes, it is. Now the Gilded Narwhal's armor's down. Gotta, of course, try not to be biased here uh, for BFS. Try and be as objective as possible. Please give me a slap, Kavias, uh, rhetorically speaking. <laughs> Should I slip in that promise? What do you think of this engage, Kavias? You've been quite quiet so far. Sorry, I was uh, setting up some other stuff, making sure everything else didn't explode, uh, and watching on my other screen. <laughs> it's like it's extreme range, that's for sure. I'm I'm really surprised with the amount of damage they have been able to do at this range. Well, and I feel I, it's it's all down to those double mercs. It is. I'm I'm kind of surprised the gents aren't pushing a little closer, where they would have, I guess, a, a better I feel like they'd it, have a better engagement. Those double lumberjacks closer to that junker would definitely cause it a lot of fear. It, it looks like that's what they might be trying to do. The Gents Pagoda going down low behind this engine, looking like he's trying to get a better angle on the Millwall fans. This will also allow him to cover shoot from behind the engine. I feel that will be very helpful. Uh, the Doo Hoo Hoo cannot cover snipe. Um, it needs to be dead on with its target to, to hit those mercs. And it's hitting the Gilded Narwhal. But I feel the pagoda is just getting closer and closer, and more putting the Millwall fans in a more and more dangerous position. Well, at this point, I mean, and it, I'm sure everyone's going to tell me this would be a horrible strategy. But <laughs> if the pagoda just charged dead on, so basically the guns are now blocked off from sight and had everyone on the hull, they could get into that range really quickly, close oh, the distance. No, and, no, that's not a good idea. Oh, I, I want to see it happen. <laughs> I don't, I don't think it'll work, but I think if it, it could be beautiful. It would be it would be funny, um, <laughs> but I don't think it would work. Well, they're they're not combining their fire right now, so it'd also make them uh, peel away that pyramidian. I think just... what would almost certainly happen if they tried to do that was the BFS ships would focus fire him, and they'd probably kill him. Uh, the Gilded Narwhals taking heavy damage, armor penetrated. The Junker does not have that much permahull once that armor is gone, and those two mercs are stripping his armor very quickly. Oh, and another merc hitting the Guild of Narwhal! I know, I feel like they're going to have to do something drastic for at least this engagement. I mean, it's the only start of the game, and there's still a lot left to play, but...
Yes, I remember facing the gents for over an hour on Duel at Dawn uh, alongside Gilda. We just used <laughs> quad mercs uh, <laughs> to just gently chip away on the gent galleon. So this is bringing up some sort of memories for me. Uh, the gilded narwhal sort of trying to sort of edge around those ribs so the BFS don't have any cover anymore. But it's it's not it's not easy. BFS have them pinned down. Yeah. No, it's 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 as I said. I just think they're outside their effective range. I think they inch in just a little bit more, and they could put in a lot of hurt consistently because they're making uh, some amazing shots with the Hades and the Lumberjack. But they just need it a little more consistency. Uh, consistently oh, I think to if they want to move in, now's the time. Look at this cloud that's moving over. Oh. They've dropped the spots. If they're gonna go, now's the time. Hmm. Are they moving? Doesn't look like they're taking the opportunity to move closer it looks like what they're doing are oh, they're going high altitude trying to use the uh you know the downward trajectory of those artemi uh, to their advantage but the do who who can just easily can just pull back out of the range um uh, of those guns that's the that's the genius of the uh the double merc pyramidian is the pyramidian so good at going quickly forward and backward and controlling that engage distance. Every time the gents move forward, BFS moves back and uh, just continues hammering them with those mercs. There we go, but um, yeah, I mean, a lot of Hades shots, but A, they're exploding short of their intended target. And B, it's almost impossible to hit it. Oh, there we go. As I say that, yeah, a so great shot of noble yeah. fans. Yeah, but one hit with the the, the Hades is, isn't isn't going to do the job. They're going to need to get several consecutively. And there's another one. There we go. So I'm noble saying, I mean, fans. They've, they've got amazing shots at this range. There's very few people that could even hit once. But you just need so much more to put real pressure back on mm. them. And the Millwall fans has just got so much cover here if if it chooses to exploit it. Still, oh, it's gone on for quite some time, but no kills have gone down. BFS are going to have to accelerate the pace of this uh, if they want to get a kill uh, to avoid a draw. Just to remind everyone of the rules, if three kills from either team are not reached at the 30 minute mark, then the match is declared a draw. Oh, look at the position do who who's in it's just uh, firing right between these two ribs well and you can see all the lumberjack shots hitting the cover like it's just it is effective a hundred percent and the hades that would have hit directly on them too oof yep more shots going down the guild of norwal efs not focus firing quite so much though I think they've got to get the, both the Artemi and the uh, the Mercs on if they want to get a kill here. Got to focus fire, but the gents are making it very difficult. Well, they're I mean, almost they... at the perfect time to start hitting that Junker. As mm. soon as the balloon comes down, it becomes just a giant target for them to take out. I feel, I feel, yeah, that it's, this is very awkward for the uh, the Lumberjack. Very awkward to. Uh... Oh wait, but the Millwall fans balloon down. There we down. go. They're using the narwhals. Oh, but the Guild of Narwhals also is heavily damaged. Oof! Both junkers there had their balloons taken down. More shots going down on the Guild of Narwhal. Oh, a merc just goes wide of the Guild of Narwhal. Oh, and another merc goes just wide of the Guild of Narwhal. There's another that hits. The armor's down, but they're going to need to hit another shot. Oh, the Guild of Narwhal's oh. barely alive. One more shot will do it. That cloud's but gonna was... save him, though. Oh, that was close. Yeah, those mercs just chipping, chipping away. I mean, that's the thing. I mean, triple Artemis has been so popular, but uh, you know that double merc. Um, I mean, it won't do a lot of uh, damage to the hull once the armor's stripped, but it will consistently hit that armor, and it will get a little bit of damage through uh to the perma perma hull and now the gents pagoda taking perma hull oh gents pagoda is in a bad position if millwall they're, fans they're turns his ass on him though. 
Oh, this could be bad. A few Artemis now. shots will take down the Gents Pagoda here. The Gents Pagoda barely alive. Oh, the Gents Pagoda. One more shot. Oh, in. boom. There we go. First kill goes to the BFS. Now the, the Gilded Narwhal is all dressed up. Nowhere to go, as I'm so fond of saying. Hopefully they'll put that on the t-shirt. Oh, ho, ho, ho. there goes the Gilded Narwhal. Gilded by Gilda, <laughs> funnily enough. Do who who. Um, uh, the cap Captain Gilda unfettered, killing his namesake there. Now, well, that definitely worked um, for the BFS. Oh, but now the Gents Pagoda's spawning close by. Oh, here we go. It's Prime all gonna, positioning. It's all going to depend on who spots who first. Either this could be a good flank. Or this could be a, a devastating mistake. They, they seem, even without the spot, they seem aware of where he's coming from. They're going directly away from him. They know that cloud is <laughs> definitely hiding something a, quite a bit dangerous. Yep. Oh boy. This is tense. The Gilded Narwhal's been spotted. Oh, now all they need to do is take some cover behind the ribs while they focus fire on the Gilded Narwhal, and the Gilded Narwhal's in a lot of trouble. However, the Gents Pagoda, he's turning his guns, he's turning those heavy guns on the Millwall fans. If he gets some good lumberjack shots on him, the Millwall fans will be in loads of trouble. The Hades connecting with the Millwall fans, the balloon's down, the Gilded Narwhal's taking a lot of damage as well, but the Millwall fans is in critical danger if he doesn't get out of arc of the Gents Pagoda. Oh, Millwall fans, Hull Arbor's down! Oh boy! Oh, da! Ah. <laughs> the balloon's down, he's, but he's descending behind some cover here! The Millwall fans just barely escaping from the arcs of the Gents Pagoda. I like doing play by play. I can, I can definitely <laughs> tell. It was, it's a brilliant move though. I mean, it, I, to me, it wasn't a barrel, uh, barely escape, it was the perfect escape. They saw the danger and they took the quickest path to get out of there. As soon as their balloon was down, they knew where to go. Like another second out in those guns, and they would have been down. No armor, two lumberjacks, that's and no balloon. That's just one big target waiting for a... And now if the Millwall fans can just get up, it can just get up a bit higher, it can focus fire on the Gilded Narwhal with those Artemi. And if they do that, then the Gilded Narwhal's in a lot of trouble. The Gents Pagoda's going to find it awkward to get a position to fire on BFS from this position. Now, but the do, the do who who's armor's down! The do who who's been caught out here! Again, who, using who, who, those ribs, though, cover. Oh, good kerosene. Kerosene back behind those ribs. Just no. saving himself there, Gilda. But the Gilda Narwhal's Gilda taking Narwhal. heavy damage. One more shot will do it. Oh, the BFS was so close to getting that crucial three points. Once they've got the three points, then, they've, then they can get the, the time limit victory if they elected to go on the defensive. Whew, that was so close for the gents. Also yeah, very that, close to the BFS. The covering fire from that galleon it saves lives. Mm -hmm. I mean, pulled them out of uh, yeah. arc just with using that. Yeah, BFS are being forced to completely reposition here. They can no longer rely on those ribs for cover. And I mean, yeah, the, the, that's the advantage of the flanking. Because if you flank your opponent, then they can't cover from both ships at the same time. Yeah, that, yeah, BFS made the right decision here, I feel, just uh, <laughs> pulling back, not getting too aggressive. I don't know, if for that crucial third kill, I'd say go for it, because three to two, and then playing hyper-defensive well, would still that's, be worth that's it. Got a, mm, yeah, you, you might have a point. If they just got on a kill on the Guild and Narwhal, then they could have just played defensive for the rest of the game, even if they had lost a ship or two. Yep. Yeah, you, they could lose both ships, and if they took out the Narwhal, well worth it. Okay, well, in any event, I think in, in the instinct of a captain is to preserve his ship, uh, <laughs> you know, in, in these situations. <laughs> I, I definitely I mean, do not fault him for avoiding death, because that's there is, certainly there, what would have happened There's definitely a there. logic in what you're saying. However, I don't feel that more kind of meta e logic is kind of what's on the pilot's mind when his ship is, is in dire danger and he needs to get that cover. And now BFS are hiding behind the um, 
hiding behind the uh, the uh, the down battleship here. Here we have Papa. Just... The uh, Papa down Paradox. battleship's just not going to offer that same cover, though. They lost prime positioning to uh, that really good flank. Yeah, you might be right. However, the uh, the do the do who still has the luxury of being able to control his engage distance, and the the gents are only coming from one direction now. Um, no relation to the band, but um... oh, here we go! The fire coming down from Do Who Who. I feel BFS are going to have an advantage while the while the gents are charging. They've got the range and the uh, uh, the uh, range control of that pyramidian. Gents pagoda yep. taking some damage, but nothing substantial yet. A lot of those shots hitting uh, hitting components or the balloon. Or, or exploding just short of their intended target. Oh, there we go. More shots on the Gents Pagoda here. The Narwhal's the... moving a little farther up. I'm the gents definitely going to find itself. The Gents are completely exposed, and they're low altitude as well. This this could be tricky. Oh, but the Millwall fan's getting some hits on him now. Oof. The tense game. Ten minutes remaining, says Urz. So, I mean, if the BFS can get one more kill, the Guild of Narwhals taking heavy damage. The Guild of Narwhal goes down! Ten more minutes, and BFS will win this. If they can just play defensive. I was, and... <laughs> I was going to say, I think, you know, as much as my hyper-aggression idea... Uh, would have worked out. I think theirs was even better. I think it's as you said. The, the captains pulled it back and basically dragged him in. And now they... Gents Pagoda is completely on his own here. Oh, this is going to be nasty. I think it's going to take a long time for the Guild of Narwhal, Narwhal to get into a place where he can support. But he's going full on anyway. He, well, yeah. I mean, the Gents know they've got to be aggressive at this point. In any event, either they if either they get free kills in the next ten minutes, or they're out of this. Gents Pagoda taking heavy damage. Guild and Narble coming in. Full speed ahead. The thing is, I mean, those double Mercs, they're, you know, they're stripping the armor, but they're not doing, they're not dealing the killing blow. The Millwall fans needs to start hooking in those Artemai. There we go. The Artemai hitting the hull of the Gents Pagoda. But the Guild and Narble's getting closer. The Guild, well, Guild and Narble's getting closer and closer all the time. BFS need to pick up the pace. Gents, oh, I'm, I'm looking at the ship now. Yet yeah, they're all clustered around the hull. They're just waiting, waiting for their ally to please come and save them. The Gents Pagoda, all the guns are down. The hull is almost down. The Guild of Narwhal's coming in, but will it be too late? Oh, the Gents Pagoda is taking a lot of damage. And the Gents Pagoda oh. goes down. Oh, and I can stop to take a breath. <laughs> They had the right idea, full reversing into those clouds, but those accurate gunners just would not stop. Yes, indeed. I'm going to take a look at who's firing those mercs on the do-hoo-hoo. -hoo. Oh, it's Tomato and Chris. Chris Torrio, one of our best gunners. <laughs> He's the one who yells at the newbies <laughs> in his harsh Polish accents. Oh, golly, the Guild oh. of Narwhal taking a lot of damage, and the BFS might have a clean sweep here with a few more shots. Oh, but they're not connecting, and that, those mercs take a long time to reload, and they've only got two shots. There we go. BFS being aggressive here. They want to end it. They want to end it quickly and cleanly. Uh, one more, a couple more Artemises will finish it. Oh, but the Guild of Narwhal going low. It looks like Gilda wants to finish the Guild of Narwhal with a ram. Ramu! Ramu! Oh, but Gilda! Oh no! Gilda, Gilda's trying to sit on the Gilda Narwhal! He bounces him down! Gilda wants to Goomba stomp Zuka! <laughs> Gilda wants to kill Zuka with a Goomba stomp! Oh, oh no! And he's firing the, the rockets now! Might we see a mine? Oh, we are going to see a mine in a moment now. I well, guarantee there's it. One out. The mine's going out! The mine! <laughs> <laughs> Boom! BFS win 5 and 0. Oh.
Wow, what a... Um, I'm not being biased here. I think I can say objectively that was an unusual build by the BFS and they, they used it very well. I think it might have been a mistake for Zuka to <laughs> to bring his double double Lundberg galleon with those tasty heavy guns uh, to get sniped out by this Mercs. I, I think that if they were just a little bit closer, you would have seen almost in a completely different game. Ref burn, Chris and Tomato flying builder today. Now here we go, loading in at Duel at Dawn, seeing one Galleon, the Gents Pagoda taking Duel Lumberjack on the left with a Merc on the left as well. And on the right we have a Carinade Huacha on the second ship, the Glory of Karshan. They're rocking a Triple Artemis setup on their left side and a Gat Mortar on their right. On the Millwall fans, we have a front Artemis, we have a right side double Artemis, and a left side Gat Mortar. On the um, Yukimeri Senkan, on the left side, we have a Quatcha Lumberjack and a Hades. On the right side, we have a Heavy Carinade and a Quatcha. <laughs> so there we go. Very... I find it very interesting that they transitioned from, you know, the more nimble Pyramidian to a Galleon on such a mm -hmm. uh, small map where you know, maneuverability can very much be well, a deciding factor. Well, I'm thinking, yeah, well, what I'm thinking is Gilda's thought process is that, you know, this is a closer ranged map they're probably going to come in for us. So, I mean, you know, we want those heavy, big damage weapons, um, uh, you know, to, to, to duke it out if we're going to get in close. I mean... It's not as easy to just reverse <laughs> with your with your double mercs as it is on you know do um oh, sorry battle on the dunes. There's only so much space to reverse on this map. In fact, there's barely any. And now I've seen this happen once again about a trillion times, where people try and use the ribs as cover. And it's either it's very hit or a miss. Mm -hmm. You have to you you have to engage perfectly. Well. <sighs> The issue is, is that BFS are using the ribs of cover, but the uh, the gent just going right in there. Gloria of Kashan taking the wide flank, the fire on the Millwall fans, but Gloria of Kashan's got to be careful he doesn't get in the arcs of the Yukimeri Senkan and the Millwall fans. He's going to be in a lot of trouble. Yukimeri Senkan and Gents Pagoda just sitting here exchanging fire. I feel like the ribs are kind of like training wheels. <laughs> it's something that you like end up falling back on and when you when you when you do without it for a while you get nervous so you just sink back to it <laughs> interesting analogy um well I, I feel like the ribs you know the best option um you know the defensive style team really makes it awkward for the opponents to charge in and engage but neither team you know they're basically mirror images these two teams neither team really more chargey than the other I feel this is this is going to be a long one again they'll need to strike a balance between you know defense and offense especially when you're in the ribs because if you if you're just constantly ducking behind the ribs to try and defend yourself they're gonna slowly pick you apart because you're not getting any DPS on them. Yes, indeed. It looks like in the uh, Robin Dan stream, the Mandarins are up one game on the uh, on the Merry Frawls. Frogger and Sammy once again showing that they're deadly, deadly Junker techniques. Deadly team, no question about it. All right. Well, the Yukimeri Senkan and the Millwall fans deep in cover behind this metal superstructure here. Nondescript. <laughs> <laughs> um, Millwall fans. I... Millwall fans. Oh, I I don't know. If, oh, this is very risky by the Millwall fans. He's wide open to fire here. Oh, this is very very risky not sure why he chose to come this way rather than around 
BFS switching sides. <laughs> yeah, and he's immediately, you know, turning to try and back up around the corner. Yep, there we go. Playing ring around the sniping Rosie with the gents. Have this nice bit of cloud cover they could ride for a while. Again, they will need to watch for that distant yep. flare. Yeah, there's a bit of a flare there. Gilda's about to go into the range of it is the Yokomuri Senkan. There we go. Now it looks like uh, BFS are taking cover in the other ribs. I can guarantee you... They, well, they got training wheels with a little, a little bit nicer chrome on them. <laughs> I'm pretty sure right now uh, Gilda is instructing uh, Zinc what to do. And Zinc's following quite closely. Well, you definitely want to... You want to favor the defensive. Mm -hmm. You want to stick together. Oh, oh caught boy. Out. FS, their shots just out of range here. You can see all those, all those Hades, all that, uh, all that lumberjack fire exploding just short of the Gents Pagoda. Maybe this would have been a good map to take Mercs on. Yeah. Clearly, <laughs> Maracket way too low with that lumberjack. However, I mean they're still within range of the galleon because I'm seeing them, you know. Ooh, Glory of Kashan. going just above the... Glory Kash uh, Kashan's going uh, in a bit closer here. Oh, they're trying to isolate the Yukamari Senkan. Be careful, Yukamari Senkan. You're being isolated. The Glory of... There we go. Yukamari Senkan realizes what's happening. He's going forward, trying to get more cover, but it... Oh, it might be too late. There we go. He's zoned out the uh, Gents Pagoda, but the Glory of Kashan is still firing on him. Yukamari Senkan's taken a lot of component damage, but they've got too much cover for the, uh, the Gents to capitalize. Millwall fans was uh, <laughs> getting blocked by the Yukamari for a while. Now the arts but, uh, come in on the glory of Kashan. But he's remedying that situation. Glory of Kashan is still peeking a little bit beyond his purview, I'd say. The Gents Pagoda is right. completely zoned out, and I'm surprised he's not, you know. Yeah, I mean, you think arcs. the glory of Kashan. Maybe the glory of Kashan's trying to tempt the FS into charging or something. I don't know. Why would you ever do that? <laughs> <laughs> Looks like the, well, the Gents Pagoda is moving forward. Looks like they want to fight BFS here. For whatever reason. Glory of Kashan's taking quite a lot of damage. Oh, Glory of Kashan's hull's on fire. They're keeping it up, though. Now looks like the Gents Pagoda's coming in to block the Glory of Kashan before they take any permahull. Oh, what a body block. Just in time is the Gents Pagoda. However, the Gents Pagoda's balloon is down. And now yeah, the Gents are on the back foot. There was that, you know, momentary uh, piece of time where he had to bring his guns to bear, and <laughs> uh, BFS did a very good job of opportunizing off of that. Mm -hmm. And now BFS are going to need to get a lot of fire on the Glory of Kashan very quickly if they want to get a kill as the Glory of Kashan is pulling back. And it looks like he's got cover now. There we go. And the red team are right up against these ribs, so I feel like blue team could very well try and push forward here. They probably could, yeah. But, um... Thinking they're being conservative. I mean, it's served them well so far, just waiting for the gents to try and force the engagement and then finding themselves in a bad position. But then again, I mean, even though BFS have been getting the better of these engagements, have they really? Because they haven't really been doing any any permahole. Yep, it all and that's what it's all about. Positioning and who can throw down more damage. And the uh, that watcher on the Yukimari Senkan isn't getting any use at all. I, 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 you know, I'm not sure if that was the right choice, Gilda. Because the glory of Kashan and the Gents Pagoda can just afford to snipe long range, and there's no reason why they get close enough to get hit by that Quatcher. Yo, you can marry Senkan's taking a lot of lumberjack fire now. Ooh, looks like the Gents are getting a bit more aggressive. You can marry Senkan's balloon is down. Gents may be closing the web. 
Sorry, Karshan. Looks like looking like he's getting pretty aggressive. Looks like he might go through the ribs. Nope. He's once again turning to the left. That's very good. Look at Mary Senkan finding it tricky to arc those shots up, and he's also oh, all his guns just taken out there by the triple arc fire. Yeah, you can marry Senkan to be pinned down. Well, he'd have a rough time trying to arc Lumberjack through there anyway. I think it's time he needs to start Ooh, yeah, using that Mary watch Senkan's going to need this cover. He's going to need to regroup here, which is going to leave the Millwall fans exposed. Yeah, Millwall fans wisely pulling back as the glory of Kashan comes in. The glory of Kashan's got to be careful not to get too kill hungry, though. And that triple it's a Artemis triple art fight, and the Millwall that. fans is losing that triple art fight decisively. Oh, but he's going forward out. and enabling Jens Pagoda to get Ark's area. Oh, and pulling now back. the Lumberjack's hooking in on the glory of Kashan. He might have overextended a little bit. And now the Watchers. Oh, the Watcher without Heavy. Uh, oh, no that's heavy. rough. Just all going heavy, wide. Guys. <laughs> <laughs> WTF. Oh, the glory of Kashan might be. Oh, he took a bounce there. Oh, but no permahole. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Uh, oh, there. well, there we go. No no ship has taken Permahol. This is very much a very kind of standoffish fencing match. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yukimura, oh, but Yukimura Senkan's taking a lot of damage now. The balloon is down. Two of the guns are down. The B BFS are getting slowly pinned down here. They're getting pushed somewhere they don't want to be. Once they get locked into this position... The gents are so close to the ribs at this point, it would be very easy to, uh, you know, entrap them. True. I just don't feel... Let me check the Yukimori Senkan here. Oh, guys, you forgot to bring Heavy. None of you brought <laughs> Heavy. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, well. Yeah, that's rough. I mean... I think Gilda yeah, something... just kind of thought... Oh, I'll switch to a galleon. It's, um... Uh... I think he, he just forgot to tell everyone to switch to heavy. Oh, now the Yukimori Senkan's about to take some permahull damage. Oh, Yukimori Senkan doesn't have the engines to move out of here. Oh, no, the Yukimori Senkan's in terrible, terrible trouble. He's under fire from both ships. The Yukimori Senkan's going down. The balloon is down. Still has two engines, but they're both turning, so he's not moving forward or backwards anywhere fast. So he's slowly getting ripped oh. apart by the... Uh, combined fire the red team and there you go and goes down oh it's just one gun one gun and one lack of ammo <laughs> i think <laughs> will cost you the match and i i feel that may be what happens here millwall fans needs to get get out of here careful millwall fans millwall fans needs to take cover you don't want to make this two kills all right well, so is. you can marry senkan electing to spawn behind millwall fans should be able to get out of here yeah, very nice job. I, I agree with that decision. Just getting away from those ribs was probably mm -hmm. the best thing they could have yeah, done. Yeah, if he'd gone into those ribs, himself. he might have been trapped. You're right. Oh, Gents Pagoda coming in ahead of steam here. Very, very aggressive by the Gents Pagoda. Look who brought heavy. <laughs> yeah, look who brought heavy. Oh, God. Oh, but BFS firing back. Now the Gents Pagoda's balloon's taken down. There's going to be a moment for a while if the uh you can marry just backs up a bit he could potentially just have a nice 2v1 for yeah, a very 2v1 brief the period Jets of time. Pagoda, for god's sake it's, <laughs> it's, it's heavily damaged you can marry senkan's backing off no kill the gents pagoda <laughs> oh gents pagoda getting Jets caught pagoda. up on that one piece of rebar uh, <laughs> I feel BFS, oh, I feel they threw away a kill there. I feel they could have killed the Gents Pagoda with a bit of focus fire. Well, they didn't believe in the heart of the cards. Apparently not. You can marry, just getting in whatever shots they can. Oh, uh, you can marry, maybe thinking, you know, this is a better, I've got more cover to shoot um, from here. I could go with the risky engagement, or I could go with the... Uh, safe engagement however i don't think it's going to be too long before the gents will be able to get into their own safe spot gents pagoda is pretty far out here and gents pagoda is fairly exposed but bfs is going to find it awkward to find those firing angles in the position they're in noble fans taking heavy balloon damage 
mean, you know, B uh, gents just sitting right in the open. I, I just find that BFS haven't quite find the right place to cover shoot from. Oh, you're like the general manager of a sports team who's like commentating the game. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh dear. Right, well. Yukimeri Senkan taking a lot of component damage. Vince Pagoda taking some perma hull, well, not perma hull, armor damage, but not much. Something of a standoff here. Now the glory of Kashan has made himself uh, conspicuous. Backing off. What the gents no. need to do is they just need to force the same kind of engagement they forced last time. Yuka Mary has no guns to speak of at this point, so. Nope. It's gonna be dropping down. Those straight watcher shots again, like you said. No. No heavy to speak of on the Yukimari, and that is, that is very uh, bad at the ranges that they are currently fighting at. So they essentially just put them at a one gun, one heavy gun deficit by uh, not taking heavy. Yeah, more or less. I mean, you could shoot the Huacha at them, and then I mean they did get some they did get some good balloon. hits with that Huacha when the Gents Pagoda was up close, when they should have focus fired him, when they should have killed him. Instead of backing <laughs> off. Yeah, that's very true. I mean, they were they were well within burst range, so they should have just taken advantage of the. They should have just gone for it, yeah. But of course, you know, it's easy to say that from the caster's position. And, you know, they're at least it looks like they're not winning this engagement at this point. There, they, they keep getting pushed back. I mean, into they their take they take holes. the the balloon, you know, the balloon down, but. You know, there's there's nothing to really follow up. They need consistent damage, and it's just that they're in an awkward spot if they want to get it. They've basically got to hope that the gents make a mistake here. Maybe they will. Looks like the gents, gents pagoda, coming, but taking a bounce off the scenery as the glory of Kashan continues to be under fire. What is the gents pagoda doing? He wants to taste the fury of the burst rounds. Gents Pagoda. If Blue Team doesn't it... see this coming, I'm I'm gonna be one surprised panda. Oh, I don't think they do. I don't no, oh, Gents man. Pagoda has not been spotted! Yukaburi Senkan's taken a surprise volley of galleon fire here. But he still has his Oh, BFS have gotta capitalize. They've got it. oh there's a mine over there for some reason. Uh, <laughs> BFS got to capitalize here. They've got to focus fire on the Gents Pagoda. They've got to focus fire on him in hard. It looks like that's what they're doing. Chris they Torrio really... just completely abandoned the uh, Lumberjack there to get that watcher. Yep. Oh, Trying but Gen oh, Pagoda moves slightly forward. My connection's Millwall lagging fans out. Just descending. Millwall fans, why are you descending? I don't, I don't Go know. Go for the finish. Oh, oh God. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> Millwall fans ended up taking a mine hit. Oh, Millwall fans bumped into a mine. Oh, you live by the mine, you die by the mine. That's how it goes. Oh, it's oh, painful. I don't know why he is trying to close the distance between him and the galleon. Millwall fans away. wants to the focus fire on the Oh, but he gets a ram for his trouble. Does the Millwall fans. Millwall fans, use your gap mortar. Use your gats mortar. Finish off the gents pagoda. Do it quickly before you get killed by the glory of Kashan. Oh, oh Millwall that fans big watcher. Down. You can marry Senkan's got to work fast if it wants to kill the gents pagoda. Will he be able to kill, get the kill before the glory of Kashan starts firing his arts? Just but need a few are... more solid lumberjack shots. But they are in blue spawn right now, aren't they? Yeah, they are. So potentially. A few more good numbers. Oh, the watchers hooking in. There's the no wall fans spawning right alive. inside the ribs. Oh no! <laughs> but the Yukaberry Senkan couldn't get the kill fast enough. He's just gonna Mil work fans. on that balloon and hope Millwall fans can help no, him out. No, the Millwall fans Senkan's... are trying to get Gloria Kershawn off of him. Oh yes he is, but can he do it? The Gloria Kershawn's had a few guns taken down. Oh, this is a close range battle. Oh, Gents Pagoda firing. Mortar. Oh god. Oh, this is so awkward, this engage. 
Yukimeri Senkan getting Gatling down, but now the glory of Kashan getting the Gatling on him. Who will be Gatling to death first? Oh, oh it's the Yukimeri Senkan. BFS. Oh, it was that one. Oh, it was that one charge. Oh, it was that one mistake. Millwall fans crashing into a mine. That was meant to defend that passage, but it ended up costing them probably this game. Yeah. Oh, no. And there's that Gat Murder. Millwall fans again just relying a little too heavily on that uh, Artemis. Yukimeri Senkan spawned in again, but it might be a terrible meat grind decision as Millwall fans is in terrible trouble. Will the Yukimeri Senkan. Yukimeri Senkan, he's, he's coming up behind the Gents <laughs> Pagoda? He's one of the most awkward, awkward things I've bringing, ever seen. Yep, he's awkwardly bringing <laughs> his close range guns to bear on the Gents Pagoda. There we go. He might be able to kill the Gents Pagoda here unless the glory of Kashan turns around and starts assisting. Millwall, if Millwall fans get us away, I mean, Yukimeri Senkan could kill the Pagoda here. The nope. glory of Kashan opting not to make that. All right, now Millwall fans need to come decision. back in. Millwall fans need to come back in right now. Millwall fans, come back in. You've retreated long enough. Oh, no. The, the, Je the Jets Pagoda's off like almost no health. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> they screwed it up. Oh, no. Millwall fans has arcs, but he... Oh, apparently not. There's a couple little rebar. He has a, a little hole he can shoot through. Yukimeri Senkan needs to start firing those close-range guns in the glory of Kashan. If they don't, they're going to get Gap mortared down to death right away glory of kashan's balloon is down bfs needs to turn oh. things around right now you can oh, marry no, now is just, just barely... at oh. such a deficit this is looking like david and goliath at this point this is looking bad this is looking pretty bad here you can marry sankan's taking the worst of it Mary is watcher. down there we go i think that was the last gasp the last hope that bfs had millwall again Millwall fans just retreating a little bit too long. Trying to get arcs. Yeah, but that, that not mine, managing to through those that ribs. Mine, you kind of hit the hit it on that awkward engage. I don't think I highly unlikely BFS will manage to get ten kills in the less in the next less than ten minutes. Looks like Chris Torrio's disconnected as well. He's just had enough. Adding to the adding <laughs> to the chaos. Oh dear. As well as that first game was going for the BFS, it's going just as badly now. Millwall fans struggling to escape and not sure if it can escape. Oh, all components taken out. Taking consistent fire here. Millwall fans. Oh no. Millwall fans. Gents right, struggling one engine a tad up. bit to hit one that engine up. They need to Oh profile. no, but just as. Now it's over. Oh, that was painful to watch. And Just it looks a few like we're on the game mistakes. three. Yep. You win in close range, we win in sniping. What is the world coming to, asked Rathburn. <laughs> what indeed? I think is... Uh... Gaining some valuable experience, and yeah, no better way to gain experience than to face the gents. Alrighty. On the G string, we have the Hades Artemis. Left side, we have double Artemis. On the Glory of Kashan, we have Artemis front, left side double Art, right side Gat Mortar. And on the blue team, on the Millwall fans, we have Gap Mortar on the left and a triple Artemis setup. And on the Fuyukai, we have oh a boy. Mortar on the right, mine on the back, and a Gatling up front. Oh, BFS are going for it. They are not wasting any time. The, the Fuyukai is a mosquito the size of mm. a shoe. <laughs> yeah, this was BFS's first ever competitive match. Gilder and his squid on Canyon Ambush. Uh, Except without the Artemis. 
Yeah, we found the Artemis. <laughs> found the triple Artemis. It was Gat Black back in that day. Oh, man. Went, oh. went to Yorkshire a bit there. You're dating okay. yourself. Um, I hate myself enough already. <laughs> anyway, uh, that depressing revelation aside, it looks like the gents vaguely know where BFS are. I think Gilda's going to try and come in through that cloud. Gonna I mean, wait he's for got Zinc. plenty of it. Going to wait for Zinc to be in a good position to snipe with those triple arts, I think. Then he's just going to go for it. Oh, don't don't initiate if he's going down there. So wait till he's like, wait till he can get out in the open, and for sure just you know have manipul uh, manipulatable arcs. You're really restricting mm -hmm. yourself when you're shooting through that tiny hole. Yeah, that's true. Uh, yeah, Oof, Millwall fans. Yeah, I mean, I, I'd advise going up rather than down here. They can just go down if they want cover. Maybe they're just trying to kind of get them out of position so Gilda's in the right spot to charge. Millwall fans taking a lot of component damage. Taking some armor damage too. Gilda just poised. <sighs> And waiting. Yeah, he's like a predator hiding in a tree. This was this was actually the map where uh, Gilda Tara sided himself. This squid, do you remember? Yep. <laughs> it was right by that wooden railing yeah, thing. Yeah, it was right by where um, uh, God, there's so many clouds. There weren't as many clouds back then. It's right, right, actually, where the gents are right now. He, he killed himself on that uh, that rail bridge. Rip Tara side. <laughs> <laughs> yep. We barely it was fun while you lasted. Oh, Gilda says loading issues. Oh, apparently there's a pause or something going down. Seems like he's back now, says Beast on Throne. Yep. Okay, maybe we're going to see more action now. No fans going up high. <laughs> Are you all right? On the yes. G Proceeds to shoot. <laughs> Yukai is um, taking his time. He's not, uh, he's being careful to go in. Gilda knows the squid, you know, is quite weak, and uh, if it takes any amount of focus fire at all, it will pop Evaporate. like the proverbial weasel, yeah. Squid's armor made of tinfoil and hope. Sticky tape. Paper mache and <laughs> blue. Hmm. <laughs> Sort of like was made dreams. by kindergartners in a, <laughs> a crafting class. BFS, yeah, um, they're waiting for their moment, either that or they're waiting for someone who's having some issues or something. I don't yeah, know. I think everybody's loaded in. Yeah, I'm just. BFS were gonna go in. Why didn't they go in when the gents were a bit closer? I don't know, but here's G string. I think I well, maybe they're, made, they're waiting for the gents to overextend, for the gents to get frustrated and go in. Possibility. They're going to be waiting a while. <laughs> I think BFS are quite... They quite like the idea of the gents being spotted here, but the, that squid not being spotted. That squid can just quickly come out of nowhere. And it's almost... It's pretty much sitting still, the squid. Which is very hard to do after you move from mm -hmm. the first point in the game. And everyone's got greased on the Fukai. They're going to go in fast, hard. There we go. Get they're initiating. Very quickly. G String's to. very far ahead. Yep, G String is very far ahead. Fukai's, oh, Fukai's going low. Millwall fans, yep. Millwall fans coming out right, right at the right time as the Fukai comes in. Oh, but he's turning in. himself to Artemis oh, Junker, the and there the goes oh, Artemis is. Ripping Yukai his engines high. apart. Oof. Yukai using Hydro to try and get out of here, but he's not climbing fast enough. Two of his engines are taken down. Fukai's got to move. Fukai's got to move now. Oof, that was... Oh, they're raining in. And at this go. point... Here we go, Fukai taking cover. Yukai knows who he needs to focus now. Yep. They're not going to be worrying about the G-string. No, I mean, he bad. tried to come in behind the G-string there, but the glory of Kashan was waiting for him with a buttload of Artemi. <gasps> but the G-string is overextending now. G-string is chasing the Fukai. Oh, don't chase the squids. No don't mines the either. Squids. I don't but know. 
just oh, as yeah, where arcs are the mines? all through oh, this you pillar. Taking oh. any damage. And I think they're perfectly fine just leaving them there and then going to pick apart the uh, Millwall fans. Yeah, Fukai. Oh dear, that triple Artemis can really hurt a squid while it's running away. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's another they had, reason. They had that mine disabled, and that's why we didn't see him That's another to close reason the why the squids, you know, it's not quite like it used to be. I mean, you know, the Artemis is so strong and so ingrained now. If a squid turns its back to you, it, you know. You just you rip know. it, rip <laughs> it up. Those engines and that maneuverability advantage is just gone. Oh, here we go. The G string. Is the G string about to make a mistake? Yukai firing on the G-string, but the Millwall fans is not in a position to support. If Yukai's Gilder get just out flies here. right over, very nice play oh, here. He has oh, this one is, engine oh, down. Oh, this is risky by Gilda. Oh my goodness, Gilda going right oh. between them. But Gloria <laughs> oh, Kashan compensating with that Gatling. Now Millwall fans oh. firing on the G-string. Yukai taking heavy damage. And no waters though. Be, oh. Or, oh. <laughs> So he used to shooting those Artemis. Now he's left the Wolf fans in a two on one situation. You guys going to need to get back in there right now if the Millwall fans isn't going to die. And he will. He'll be right around that corner in a second, but Millwall fans just needs to hang on. I yeah. did not see a whole lot of fire coming from Millwall at that point. No, I, Millwall needed to use his gap mortar there, but instead he went, in for, went for the Artemis. I mean, that squid's going to be prepared to run like hell at any given moment, so uh, if you're going to get a kill, you're going to have to get it quick. Uh, He's just going to turn all the way at this point. I mean, good flying by Gilda, but I feel like him and Zinc aren't quite closing the traps the way they wanted to. Uh, there was that one time the G-string had overextended, and... Yukai was firing his gad on him, but uh, Millwall fans was was going, you know, around the other side. So, out of curiosity, how do DFS usually handle their communications in game? Is it just um, well, you use combination of in-game chat and mumble. We used to use um, Ventrilo quite a lot. All right. And is it the entire team in one? Yeah, the entire team Or is it the captains mumble. splitting themselves up? The entire team in one mumble. And, you know, we can use voice to talk to each other, you know, individually, crews, captains, that kind of thing. Okay. Fukai is heavily damaged. He can't afford another failed engage. I think there are some probably some harsh words being exchanged here. <laughs> You're just like your mother. What? <laughs> I think Gilda is complaining at this point about how the squid has been nerfed. <laughs> Very consistent. Play from I, the gentleman Gilda, at this point the, the in thing time. is, Gilda does not, he hates flying a disabled squid, but I feel like it would behoove him to use a bit disabled squid here. Sneak up, take one ship out of the fight with the disabling. Because what he's doing right now is going in for the kill, but he but, can't stay in one place long enough to get it. If then he you're had leaving disabling. your teammate to 1v1 and yeah, exactly. really a if he had the disabled, situation. If he had the disable, maybe he could. Just how I feel. If he watches his back, he's gonna <laughs> he's gonna yell at me later, but that's just how I feel. Um Oh cool, okay. they uh they oh, re enabled the interesting you can see the crew. Okay, around. interesting flank here. This is BFS will have to time this perfectly. Uh oh, the jig is up. The glory of Kashan sees the Millwall fans. Glory of Kashan takes a bounce. It tries to go in on the Millwall fans. Now the Fukai is in a good position to uh, to get an ambush on the G-string. But the Millwall fans needs to survive long enough for that to happen. Oh, and the Millwall fans is taking the Gatling fire. Now the Fukai is firing on the uh, on the G-string. Yeah, oh, not doing the not doing the damage fast enough. 
Double fans has got to stay alive while the Pukai just lays in that damage. All right, now and there's the, uh, that mortar ripping the juice ring. Here we in. go, oh. beautiful play. But oh, there goes no wall. Damn it! Well, there we go. You got to be tankier than that, I guess. Now Fukai, no, Gilda, don't, no, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> oh God, Gilda's really on the highway to the danger zone, trying to go underneath the glory of Kashan. Oh, no. <laughs> Some, someone well. put a cement barrier in the middle of the highway to the danger zone. Oh no, I think Gilda should have <laughs> I think Gilda should have backed away. I I he tried to go underneath the glory of Gashan, but it's dicey enough, you know, trying to one on one someone with a squid with that low perma hull when they see you coming. <laughs> well he gambled. I think he thought he had his Artemis's turned out, but uh Yeah, that was it's completely in vain there. Mm. Well, I mean, they had the right idea. I just think maybe Zinc should have just kind of peeked around that corner with the uh, the triple arts rather than just going full on in, which ended up with him getting killed. But, you know, the theory is solid. It, it's there. The potential is there. The potential it's the execution. is there. Yes. The execution is a little bit off. Yeah. The tad. And it's really hard at this point when blue team does not know where red team is. I mean, it wouldn't be that hard to guess where they headed wow. and where they were. Okay, but... BFS really. Oh, BFS got to be careful. Millwall fans. Oh, <sighs> God. Millwall fans goes around that corner. Oh, Jesus. They'll be in a world of pain. What is BFS? I think that BFS no, think no, no, that no, they're no, going to no, come no. through the middle, but they're not oh, going to come through the... And Millwall fans okay. Millwall are fans, get out of there. world get out of there. Get out of there. <laughs> Millwall fans, no, 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 no. <laughs> this is, uh, oh. no, one, no one on that boat had music on. No one on that boat oh, had Millwall music on. Millwall fans got to reverse. They've got to use kerosene. They've got to tank. They've got to do everything they can. Fukai is not going to get back in in time. Oh, fans has to save it. Oh, no. That flank was way too wide. Way too wide. Gilder changing course here. Don't yeah. worry. Here comes Gilder. <laughs> that flank was just too damn wide. I mean, it might have worked if Mad Hatters had gone exactly the way they planned. But as it happened, no, no. Fukai skulking away and dropping a mine in its path. Oh, it's just, uh, it's all gone a bit Pete Tong. Is that Cockney for something? Yeah, Cockney rhyming slang. Pete Tong, wrong. God. Ah, oh, BFS Dude, just... Cockneys have to be the smartest people on the face of the earth to be able to accurately use that language. Well, they are a strange and mysterious people. Well, BFS are only one death away from losing to the gents here. Then we'll have another, we'll have a repeat of last week's finals between the gents and the mandarins. For the sake of variety. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Fukai. Ooh, Fukai. Oh, uh, uh, uh. Millwall fans getting fired upon here. A few guys skulking in the wings. Oh god. Here comes Fukai. Oh god, oh god, oh, oh god. Millwall oh god. is on the wrong side of that oh barrier. God, oh He's god, gonna oh try and hide behind that. There's oh, Millwall Fukai. fans is suppressed. Oh, if they want to kill the fans Q maybe they're gonna have to do just... it fast. They're gonna have to do Millwall... it really fast. Millwall oh, the fans may just in, be far enough away. Down. The armor was not down. Oh, Fukai, look out, look out! Oh no, now Fukai. Oh, he's exposed his engines to the glory of Kashan. And he's going to oh, get absolutely oh, no. ripped apart here. It could be over here. He's, yeah, his it's engines over. are out. He has yeah. two engines. Oh. He's 2v1. Oh, drop guess shooting is... down. <laughs> drop shooting hard to escape his Gilder. Oh, this is, this is actually oh. pretty nice right now. Oh, and look, he left, he left the mine present up for... Uh, okay. And now, oh, there we go. Millwall, this has allowed Millwall fans to start firing on the uh, on the G-string, knocking out a few guns. Millwall oh, fans, is, oh, I feel like Millwall fans' fire, fire has been guy. fairly absent throughout these engagements. <laughs> he has been getting, you know, 
five Artemis. Oh my goodness, Fukai. Can Artemis. Fukai skulk away here? There we go. Oh no, no, his engines have to be taken down. Oh, Fukai barely escapes. Holy crap. Three engines down. Oh, oh man. Just got out of there. I just All if you uh, if you're gonna do this, this just has to be perfectly executed. And Gilda's doing it very well. I mean it was, it was pretty spectacular he managed to invade there, but it just has to time it perfectly with the Millwall fans. Not I think where the happened. where the hiccup in their build is happening is when they're trying to get the squid and they're subjugating the other ship a lot of damage. Yeah. So he ends up being so disabled by the point the squid comes in that he can't do anything to help. That's why I think the squid should go disable. My my feeling. Now, oh, you guys just booked it the hell out of there. You guys self-preservation all the way as the Millwall fans is completely on his own. They're gonna try and meet he's, up, but it might be it might be too late. He's trying so hard. Oh, Millwall fans! And they're reversing. just keeping our. Lucky, luckily arts. he hasn't got his engines taken out. If those engines go down for any length of time, Millwall fans is dead. Well, see, Fukai they're just out of arcs in. of the engines, so he's oh, lucky Fukai's, there, but they're Fukai's just... Fukai's got to start popping kerosene. Oh, Millwall fans in terrible trouble. Millwall fans has got to try and descend below this pipe. Oh, but the armor... Oh, the armor's and down. one last oh, armor. There, there it is. Shot. Oh. oh, well. <laughs> hands. <laughs> Face and hands. Ricard Castle, morning. Oh well, it <laughs> it started off so well um, with the uh, snipey build, uh, battle on the dunes, and then after the second game, it all went a bit Pete Tong. Bong? Wrong. <laughs> <laughs> See, this is why Cockney rhyming saying is stupid. <laughs> so, so many more options for misinterpretation. Well, yeah, if you're Canadian. Yeah, yeah, I went there. <laughs>